Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to continue doing some leak code problems and this leak code problem here is 680 which is valid palindrome 2. So if you watch my other video I have a video on valid palindrome. I'll leave that in the description below but if you did not watch that I'll tell you what a palindrome is. So it's a word, a phrase, or a sequence that reads the same backwards as it does forwards. So we have some examples here which does that. So, you know, ABA um, is a palindrome, right? Race car, spelled backwards, would be a palindrome. Same forwards as it is backwards. So uh, let's go in with the prompt. We'll read it and then we'll start with the code. So it says, given a string S, return true if the string can be a palindrome after deleting at most one character from it. So if we go down here, you know, we know that this is a palindrome. We know that this is also a palindrome because we could delete C, right? If we take out C, it's going to read the same forwards as it does backwards. And this right here is not a palindrome. So we can get started on that. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to write a helper function that's just going to check um, whether one of our, uh, our phrase is a palindrome or not. So we're just going to go, um, let's do palindrome check. And we're going to pass in our left pointer and our right pointer. While left is greater than equal to right, this is just doing a very simple palindrome check. We're going to say s left if it does not equal the same as our pointer at right, then we know that that you know is not a valid palindrome. You know, so if they are the same, you know, if a and a are the same, then we're just going to move our pointers left plus equals one. So we're going to move our pointer. If it was here, we're going to move it one. And then we're going to move our right pointer. We're going to decrement it by minus one because we're going to want the pointer to go to the next um, to the next letter that we're looking at. So I'm just going to do, say we have A, B, C, A, right? So if we're here, left, oops, this is going to be our left. And then, you know, this is going to be our right. You know, if they are the same, then we're just going to increment our left and decrement our right. Okay. So we have that. And then I'm going to have to return true here. All right, now let's get down to the part where we have to basically, you could delete the character C. So basically it's saying you, it, it can be a pal valid palindrome after deleting at most one character. So we're going to want to delete at most one character. So let's start off with having left start at zero and right. We're going to start at the length of our given string minus one. So say we're, we'll use this example here. I'm just going to move this down here. All right. And then, you know, very similar logic as we do up top in the palindrome check. While left is greater than right, we're going to do our logic here is going to be different. So, so say if left does not equal our pointer at right. Same thing that we did up here, See, same code. Um, so we're here now, all right. I'm going to continue just to go down here, do an else right here. We want to continue to keep it, you know, plus equals one. And we're doing right minus equals one because we still want to, you know, make sure that it's a palindrome. So if so, if these are correct, then we just like I showed up here, we increment the left and decrement the right. So we need to try to basically skip, you know, 
over the left or we're going to try to skip over the right and check if it's a palindrome if we do that. So we're going to basically return and do a palindrome check, All right? And then we are first going to go ahead and skip over the left plus one. So we're skipping over this one, All right? Or palindrome check. We're going to be going left and then right minus one. So we're basically with this line of code right here, this would be skipping over the left. And if we did that, we're checking if it's a palindrome, right? Um, so, or we're going to check if we decrement the right, if it is a valid palindrome. So let's run this code and see what we get. Awesome. So we get true, right? Because if we delete, let's see what our test case. Our test case is A, B, A. Let's do A, B, C, A. Run this and it is true. Awesome. Awesome. So let's submit this code. Awesome. So runtime works 176 milliseconds faster than around 35% of the Python 3 submissions. So like I said, we'll go through this one more time here, just so we're sure what's going on. We're basically creating a helper function. This is called a helper function. And this helper function is checking whether, checking if a palindrome is valid or not. And down here in our, you know, valid palindrome function that we have here, right here, we're basically going until we see whatever is at our left corner is not the same as, you know, what is whatever is at our right corner. We're going back up to this helper function. We're calling this helper function and we're, you know, basically hopping over this, the left, you know, we have to basically try to skip the left and to check if, if we skip the left, if that's going to be a valid palindrome, or we're going to go ahead and skip the right. So, you know, when we do that, you know, when we, sh it shows basically that right here, if I did ABCA, a, you could delete the character C, right? Or you could even uh, delete the character B as well. So either word work, but that's pretty much what it is. So I hope this was helpful and I hope um, that it made sense. And if you have any questions or anything, don't forget to leave a comment. Thank you so much.